Aries. What's going on, Aries? Eddie. Some of you are way too young to know what Eddie, Eddie means, all right? All right. Aries, how you doing? I was on DeBrat's, um, I was on her Instagram yesterday, and there was a lot of pictures of Mariah Carey. I don't know if it was in one posting, and you just keep past, you know, like turning the pictures, or if there were a lot of pictures, but there were a lot of pictures of Mariah Carey and DeBrat on uh, DeBrat's um, Instagram, and I said, well, I wonder what signs they are for them to get along so well because like these pictures went way back even before Nick Cannon and stuff right come to find out to Brad is Aries and Mariah Carey is too and so is Eddie Eddie I want to say a special hello to all of you readers out there that have Aries moon rising or sun who watch uh, there's one Aries in particular who watched I can't remember your tarot channel but I do watch you um damn I can't read something about elegant that's all I remember is that elegant is in the reading and some of my favorite readers haven't been reading anymore like sage intuitive love she used to read for Libra she ain't reading no more and then there's another one um oh, I can't think of her name and, oh I love her reading so much I like a lot of people that are not popular right um, like they may have 700 views 900 views I like them myself you know just because somebody is popular don't mean that you're going to get the reading that you want. Speaking of that, this is not going to resonate with every Aries out there. Okay, if it doesn't, try your moon sign or your rising. Also, um, if you're new here, welcome. I'm Sunshine. This is Sunshine Tarot. Okay, and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when I upload a video. Okay. Uh, also, if you want a reading, you can go to www.sunshinetarot.net and you can get a Zoom reading, a phone reading, a video reading. All right, Aries, let's see what is going on with the ones that I pick up on. Also, like I said, this is not going to resonate with every Aries, but there are so many great readers out there. I'm sure somebody is going to have your story. Okay. All right, let's see what's in the charm, Aries. All right. Oh, oh that's too many. What do we? Ooh, so Aries, you're going to be getting grounded. All right, a lot of travel too for some of you because it says let's get lost. So some of you are going to either be getting lost from getting high, like, you know, a lot of sex, a lot of drugs, or you're going to be going to a lot of places to visit. But I see you getting grounded, secure, you know, you could be like just grounding your life. Settling down is what the rock kind of means to me. Somebody's getting married. I see I do for some of you okay so there yeah somebody could be settling down with you with i do and the rock that's here today i choose happiness hmm hmm i think that you know aries in september a lot of how you feel is going to have to do with what you choose to focus on uh you're getting the charm that says choose to be happy so it's a choice you know i know that when i used to have the battles with depression depression is really real and i feel like it needs to be treated but i remember you know uh there were times when i could feel it coming on and then i would just choose you know no no i'm not going there i'm going to be happy so that's one of the things that you're getting you know with these charms choose to be happy okay oh and your other charm says um hope is the jesus i wonder why it keeps dropping i wonder what that means hope is the thing with feathers that 
purchase in the soul. Hmm. So stay hopeful, all right? And I feel like some of you are going to be building your family ties. Like you could have a grandchild on the way. Like this is the tree of life. So you could be studying your genealogy. You might get your, um, your chart done. I just feel like you're going to be getting grounded. Some of you are going to have new opportunities uh, with securing your relationship because you get the I do next to the tree of life, which means that you know you guys are um, building a foundation here then they're giving you some type of you know like get lost they're telling you to continue to travel because that's good for you choose happiness in September and it looks like somebody is going to be offering you an apology okay so we're starting off the reading with some of you who are going to be getting more grounded and solid in your life in September because of different opportunities that could be opening up for you maybe in love could be in finance okay could be in a lot of things here all right let's see what letters we have for Aries letters that could be impacting you Aries for the month of September what do we have okay we have a Y all right an S for some of you a B hmm, and a J doesn't spell anything we don't have a vowel but we have s b j and y huh okay, aries hopefully that oof, resonates with some of you here i'm going to pull an abraham hicks card because it's always so positive and i want you guys to feel positive okay did I say if you're new here, welcome? If you're new here, welcome. But if you're coming back, thank you. All right. I don't feel like new people are more important than old people. I hate uh, banks, I mean, uh, businesses that make you feel like if you're old, you don't matter. Like with infinity. Anyway, let me move on. Okay. So Aries, what is your Abraham Hicks card for? I saw that card right here. What is your Abraham Hicks card for September? You have the secret of creating anything desired is to get happy. I don't know if I agree with that. But anyway, it says, as you practice happy thoughts, you practice your connection with source and well-being. From your place of being happy, you have access to all that you desire. Hmm. I'll think about it. I don't know how I feel about that, Aries. All right, your last oracle card is your life purpose card. And we're going to get right into your reading, my darlings. Yes, so uh, let me know who you are in the comment section. And like I said, I really hope this tarot reading resonates for you. I do the best that I can. There's a lot of great readers out there. And... Uh, Hopefully you'll find someone that tells your story, okay? Trust, okay, trust is your life purpose card. And it says, trust your feelings and dreams to guide your career path. Huh. I don't know if that's always, if that always works though, you know? Yeah, I don't know. I've become cynical as I'm getting older. Maybe I should move to New York with the rest of the cynical people. <laughs> All right, Aries, your next card is Oracle Cards. Ooh, see, I told you there were a lot of readers out there. A lot of you are readers. And it says you're able to discern answers and guidance for yourself and others. Huh. So it's saying, I think you should combine doing tarot readings or Oracle readings with trusting your instincts about your next career move. Okay, like I think you should combine those two, you know, yeah. All right, Aries, let's take a look at what's in the cards for you for September. Aries, September, Aries, September. 
air September Well, your mental health looks good, Aries. You get the Queen of Pentacles reverse with the Empress reverse. So I definitely feel like things are going to be, um, again, grounded and solid and balanced for you. I definitely feel with the Queen of Pentacles here that your career, for many of you, it looks good. All right, it looks stable. You're probably on top of your game. All right, if this resonates, is that light on? It's the light. Yes, oh God. Oh my God. You're probably at the top of your game, all right, with the Queen of Pentacles. Also, some of you could be married in a relationship with someone, maybe a Libra. Very strong Taurus presence here, right? I see your Earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo. Um, I feel like some of you are married or you might be getting married. I feel like there's a lot of abundance around you in September. You're in a real good place. You're, you're on a real high vibrational place. Money is coming to you with the Queen of Pentacles offering you her coin. But that also has a lot to do with marriage. So you could be moving in with someone. Or again, we saw the I do mixed with the rock. Uh, so yeah, some of you could be getting married. Absolutely. Not all of you, but you know, take what you like and leave the rest. Wow. With the sun. So some of you could be getting married and having a child, right? You could be dealing with the Leo, right? And if you're not having a child, I just feel like, um, you're happy. You want to stay uh, with this person that you're with because some of you are very emotionally fulfilled with this person, okay? Like you don't see yourself leaving. There's a lot of passion here. Some of you could be starting a new job too, right? I see a very loving sister or a mother or friend that's around you. The sun is here, so some of you could be in the spotlight, all right? You could have your own YouTube channel, podcasts, um, you know, be in the open, be out in the open. I see some new new some of you are famous okay because that's pretty strong uh uh viewership or or uh, visuals there for me um some of you are going to get opportunities i talked to I, I did a reading for someone and i told them they were going to get a lifetime opportunity to do their show and they did they got this opportunity to produce their show on lifetime so i feel like i'm looking at somebody who's um you could be famous right or married to somebody really big that could be in your cards too all right think big aries think big but uh, it looks like kind of like the Pisces reading a little bit where with the Queen of Pentacles giving you a commitment, somebody is giving you a commitment and um, the Empress, the Empress is leaning towards you with the sun. This is beautiful. So I see you happy with someone. All right. Some of you, right? Again, this is not going to resonate with all of you, and I will look at the singles, okay? You're with someone that you don't want to leave. You're very passionate about them, but they're kind of crazy with the moon, all right? There's things about this person that you need to be very leery about. They have they have something that, well, we all do. We all have a trigger point, but yeah, I, I feel like... Um, there's something suspicious about your person, you know? I do feel like um, they love you. I do. I feel like your person loves you, and I feel like you love this person, too. Um, you're just unsure about some things. Some things make you wonder, you know, about them. Um, I really feel cross watcher, uh, that this is resonating with, I really feel like Aries loves you very much. And there could be one or two people, you know, that you're dealing with, uh, the ace of swords. Why the fuck would the ace of swords come after that? Huh? I, I think 
that, um, hmm, let me clarify this. Why the fuck? I mean, that, there's nothing here that shows that the Ace of Swords should be here. That's what, what on earth? What, why are you here? Oh, so Aries, you guys could have multiple offers here. Like you could have a main relationship and um, you may be dealing with other people who like you too, okay? I do feel like there could be maybe one or two people, more than one people that find you um, attractive. Also, yeah, or or you could be uh, possibly in a poly situation. All right. Your person may have someone else that you don't know anything about or you could have somebody that your person doesn't know anything about. We have something hidden here, and what's hidden here is a love offer, okay? And this love offer um, looks pretty serious, the King of Cups. So, yeah, I, I feel like there's more than um, one liaison happening here at a time. One is coming from someone who you're, I don't really know why, because I, I feel like whoever you're with is really making you happy. So this could be you, and if it's not you, then it could possibly be someone that you're dating that um, could, uh, could possibly, you know, have... I feel like they're going to cut it off with them, with somebody though, all right? I feel maybe uh, they had somebody when you guys met. They could have been married or they've been seeing someone for a while, but they never married this person or they never was in love with them. But now that you're in the picture, you make them want to be a different person. Like you make them want to be a better man. Or, um, yeah. I feel like some of you could have been, could be dating someone and they were dating someone else before you. And now they don't want to date that other person, but they want to date you. All right. I don't know if the other person is completely gone yet. And Aries, this could be you. All right. All right. So let's see what happens between the two of you that that resonates with in September. That doesn't feel right. See what happens. I see you really happy with someone. They, they just could have a little bit of lunacy or uh, they, they could practice a poly lifestyle uh, and you may not know about that you know like they will always like you will be the main one but they'll have little things on the side that they do I don't even think it's important because uh, I see you as being the one that they are definitely giving a commitment to so uh, if this is you what happens in uh, September what happens in September with you two? The page of cups with the hermit reverse. Yeah, it looks like whoever they're not serious with, they cut it off and offer you, um, and you know, and it looks like maybe even have a child with you, like start a family with you, but cut it off with somebody else. Let's see, how is that person that they're cutting? Because I see somebody having a very bad reaction. So how is the person that you are cutting it off with or they are cutting it off with feel about that? How does the person being left out feel? Seven of Cups, reverse. Um, hmm. Whoever is getting cut off, they are in love, okay? And they feel like um, this is temporary, and they feel like you will be back or your person will be back, all right? Let's see, um, Aries, uh, how is your person viewing you? It's kind of obvious, but... 
Let's see, Aries. How is your person feeling about you? Aries, how is your person feeling about you? Aries. Okay. How is your person feeling about you? The chariot reverse, the emperor, and the two of coins reverse. So... They feel like you guys have hit a roadblock where there are a lot of insurmountable obstacles, but they feel determined to make it work despite whatever challenges that you have because uh, they love the emperor, okay? Uh, you could be dealing with a Cancer or another Aries. Some of you are definitely married uh, in a relationship with someone. Uh, some of you, the problem could be long distance. They could be in another country. You're in another country. But your person is very dedicated to you and determined to not let anything stop this from moving towards uh, commitment or longevity. Okay. All right, cross watcher. How does Aries feel about you? How does Aries feel about you? Those of you who this is resonating with, we haven't looked at the singles yet. How much more time do we have here? Oh my god. How is that possible? Oh my god. Oh, because we did the charms already. Okay. How does Aries feel about you? Cuz the it, it cuts off at 29 minutes, so how does Aries feel about you? Crosswatcher, how does Aries feel about you? Okay, Crosswatcher, how does Aries feel about you? The lovers reverse, the two of coins, and the two of wands. I'm going to do one more. The ten of swords reverse. Um, Aries has chosen you to be their significant other and they're just trying to balance that out in their lives with the two of coins right they could be juggling um, more than one person you know I feel like the Aries wants their freedom to kind of flirt a little bit but you are the one that they have made a commitment to and I do feel like there may be some forms of betrayal, like somebody kind of likes the ladies, or you know, you may want to live a poly situation and have somebody stable. But I feel like the six of coins is reversed, which is my dating card, but when it's reversed, someone has stopped dating. I feel like the Aries is very committed to you, although they just may do their little thing on the side that is not serious at all. Like it's just harmful flirtation. Okay, is what I'm seeing here. All right, all right. Aries singles. Aries singles. Aries singles. Aries singles. Aries singles. Aries singles. September. Okay. So, um, some of you could be walking away from somebody. I feel like you really are ready for a commitment um, with someone. You really are. And it looks like you really don't want to be bothered with anybody if they're not trying to have something real. I feel like you guys are dealing with somebody. This could actually, this is your energy, King of Wands Reverse. Some of you, you know, are dating. You know, you could be talking to different people. You want a relationship. Um, Three of Cups, yeah. I feel like some of you are like tired of the dating scene and you, you want someone who knows what they want. You want someone that knows that they want you, okay? You're ready to settle down. I feel like somebody who you used to talk to may return, all right, with the Six of Cups. Um, it looks like Aries is really serious about trying to settle down and leave situations with people that are not offering commitment. I do feel like there's somebody though that you're dealing with. Um, I feel like you you love this person, all right? Some of you are dealing with someone and you you love them, okay? Let's see how they feel about you, singles, if you're seeing someone. How do they feel about you? Um, they, they 
they feel kind of casual about you, right? They want to spend time with you. They want to um, connect with you, but they just kind of feel casual. Where is this going in September? Wow, it looks like it moves to something kind of stable. You, you had... Uh, you were wanting to move away from them, but I, I feel like you're dealing with someone and you guys are not quite in a committed relationship, but you guys are trying to make it work. And I see that it looks like it moves to something stable in September. Um, like they start uh, recognizing what you have to offer, but at this time, it just seems like they are taking things kind of casually. All right. So let's see what happens uh, in the extended, though. Maybe something changes in them. Okay. So this is for Aries extension. Aries extension. Aries extended reading September. Aries extended reading September. Where is this relationship going? How do they feel about you? How does Aries feel about you? What are they hiding? What is Aries hiding? Do they have someone else that they're taking seriously? Does Aries have someone else that they're taking seriously? How does this person secretly feel about Aries? How does Aries secretly feel about them? What is the outcome for September for singles? What is the outcome for September for couples? Okay, Aries. It stops in 29 minutes, so I have to hurry up. How is your person? Now, I do this reading for singles and couples in the extension, okay? All right, so right now we're going to take a look, Aries, singles, how your person is viewing you, all right? Um, Aries, singles, again, your person is uh, content with you, but for some reason, they, uh, they don't feel a lot of passion for you right now. For some reason, I don't know if you guys have been arguing, but um, like they, oh, wait, hold on, wait a minute. They don't feel a lot of passion with the Ace of Wands reverse, okay? Um, and they're not sure if they want to start all over again, though, with someone else. Like, they feel like just because they don't feel passion, that's not enough of a reason to leave this connection. They feel like you guys have issues that you need to resolve, but the emperor is here. They are committed. Uh, they are moving towards feeling commitment towards you, okay? Aries who are in relationships. How is your person viewing you? All right. Your person wants to fight for this connection. They view you as somebody who plays around with other people. They can view you as somebody who uh, is kind of poly. And I don't know if they want to tolerate that, but they are willing to fight for this relationship is what I see. Okay. So if you want a reading, go to www.sunshine to row. If you, I'm going to turn these cards over. And if you want to hear the extended reading, you, the link is in the description box and in the top of a comment top of the comment section it'll say click below for the Aries extended reading there'll be two links one would take you to Vimeo one would take you to uh, my website where for a nominal fee you can view this reading okay Aries thank you so much what a beautiful reading I hope you enjoyed your reading and uh, I will be back in one week and get the extended and God bless